Hello. Marcus. Rooster, what's up? How are you, my friend? I'm ready for tour. You know, I just got done taking uh, some passport photos for our uh, upcoming UK, Russia, South America run. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So busy, busy. Yeah. So you know what, Texas has been good to our band and, and been good to each, like, person in the band. Like, we, we have, like, tons of friends there, tons of family. So it's like, you know, straight up one love, man. A city can have a connection with a band, whether it's emotional, whether it's... And I just believe that P.O.D. has that tie to West Texas, man. Yeah, you know, I, I can attest, you know, and say that it's pretty much most of Texas. Like, it's one of our stronger markets in, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the, the fans are just so enthusiastic. They love the music. They love the vibe that we're bringing they love that, you know, we flirt with so many different styles in our music. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously the, the spiritual content helps too, you know. Absolutely. To connect with that too. And it, it, it transcends through y'all's live show and there are fans that come out and y'all have always been just absolutely awesome. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, you know, um, it's not something that we force. It's not something that we force upon ourselves. It's definitely on a spiritual tip, a very personal thing. Um, at a at a at a young age, you know, just coming to find what we believe and you know what we want to believe in, because that's part of growth as a human. Period. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't just take something because someone says so. You know what I mean? You you have to kind of do your research and come to your own conclusion. So, <clears throat> you know, we had to learn to accept everyone's differences in the band and. And, and learn that not everyone's going to be exactly the same, you know? Right. And, you know, and do you think that that's, uh, that kind of transcends into what you were talking about a little bit earlier about the, uh, the, the ability to cater to so many different uh, either sounds of POD, but definitely to the fans as well, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is that, you know, I'll go see a new band and you can tell, you know, it's like, the sound sounds like they're trying too hard or it's too contrived, you know, and you're like, dude, what? We, for us, it just came natural, man. It, and I think a lot of that has to do with the way we were brought up in the area that we were brought up in, you know? Right. And our families and culture and just SoCal vibe. Like, that's, you know, that's a big part of our sound. And we, we just kind of soak it all in and then we take it around the world and represent, you know, all of that. Um, but we're definitely excited to come out there. We're going to be playing some new tunes off our upcoming record, uh, which is slated to come out in August. Mm -hmm. I think the first single is going to drop in May. Very cool. Uh, it's, what, it's, it's what I've been told. Uh, and the record's called uh, The Awakening. Very cool. Very cool. And so you know, go ahead. I can't wait. I, I think that, uh, I, I, I mean, I hope, but I, I think it's because we like it. We, we feel that we're going to be making a connection again. And yeah, the, the first single definitely got that, that the element of what we've been talking about, you know? 